Monday morning, well, since he won America's Got Talent, magician Matt Franco has reinvented magic and his show is back in Las Vegas. He joins us this morning. Good morning to you, Matt. Thanks for being with us this Monday. Good morning. How are you? Oh, we're doing well. So you just celebrated your sixth anniversary, right? Tell us what this has been like. I mean, obviously the show was put on pause for a little while. What's it like to be back? It's amazing. Yeah, we were paused for 412 days, but who's counting? Uh, and we're just so thankful to be back. We've just celebrated six years. I think even the more exciting part of that is we've just signed on for five more years at the Link Hotel and Experience in Las Vegas at the Matt Franco Theater, where our goal is just to make people happy, bring them some smiles and, and share some amazing magic that people have never seen before. And hey, another five years. That's a, a big commitment. Obviously, they like you there. They know you do a good show. And I mean, the name of the show, Reinventing That Magic. How do you reinvent it? What do you do to keep a show, especially a magic show, fresh and keep people coming maybe year after year? I think that actually the silver lining in having uh, quite a bit of time off was to be able to really focus on creating new magic, uh, revamping the show. We have new set design, new lighting, new visual elements, and, and new music, and lots of new magic too. So it's not just a matter of reinventing magic and bringing people magic they haven't seen before but also reinventing from night to night. My show is so interactive and fun for the whole family uh, that I let the audience really guide how we get from point A to point B. In other words, there's lots of improvisation. So even after almost 2000 shows in Las Vegas, it always stays fresh for me. When you go out on the stage, that's kind of, that was kind of my question. Are there ever times where you look back on some of the video and, you know, like I know for us, we do news every day, right? And it's, it's kind of like you look back on it and it's, you, you know, vaguely remember it. Is every day that fresh for you? Does it, like, are you, you know, it, how do you stay in the moment while you're on that stage? Uh, I, I think that's the only way to perform is to be there in the moment. I think that's what people are coming to see. That's what separates live theater from going to see a, a movie. Uh, it's different than even a play. If you go see a play from night to night, it has to look the same each time. Whereas uh, what my show does, it's going to be a different experience even from one show to the next. So in order for me to really do what I do, part of it is about being present and in the moment and making it special for that audience. We create an experience that can only happen in that room, in that one moment, in that one night, and it's different the next night. And for people who are maybe unfamiliar with your style, right? People are starting to book their tickets, going back to Vegas, enjoying their vacations once again. Uh, tell us, and then, hey, I hear you might even be able to demonstrate for us a little bit of uh, what your style's like. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm the sleight of hand guy, right? So that's what uh, helped me win America's Got Talent. That's what kept me in Vegas for the past six years and being able to share what I do for people. I enjoy the stuff that takes a lot of practice. Uh, it's sort of the antithesis of what you think of when you used to think of Vegas magic and you would think of Siegfried and Roy and sort of these big boxes and contraptions. It's sort of the opposite of that. It's intimate and uh, sort of skill-based in a sleight of hand way. And so what do you have for us? I hear you might be able to bring a little show to the morning show here, bring a little magic yeah. to the morning show. Yeah, say. you know, I've been collecting playing cards, Evan, for years. I'm not sure, do you know what this is, by the way? Uh, no, what is that? You've never seen one of these. I don't think it's, so, it's, no. It's basically a card box, but this is what they look like oh, before when it's they've flattened. been printed. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, but in order to print it, all I have to do is go like this, Okay, there we go. Now that's just on one side. You know, the inside obviously stays blank. You know that, right? Right. But right. if I fold up oh, the box right. like this, all I have to do is snap. <laughs> and I actually can get the cards to appear inside. That's and and just so our viewers know, you're here with us on Zoom. There is no there are no camera tricks to this. You're doing it live. Yeah, and that's why I'm sharing this with you live, because I share this stuff to, to Instagram all the time. And uh, sometimes people think, wow, this has got to be a green screen or editing of some kind. But I want you to see this live and see that it's real. If you take the blank deck and just give a little pass like that, you can actually get one of the cards to print. Now, that might have been too fast, so I'll tell you what. We'll just wave over it again. I'll start over. This is what they look like when they're all blank before they leave the factory. Evan, do you play cards at all? A little bit here and there. Not much. Good. You're the guy I've been looking for right. for this. If I snap my fingers in a poker hand, let's say you have maybe a king, maybe a queen, maybe a seven, maybe a jack and a six. That would be great. But of course, I don't have any of those cards. 
if I did though, Evan, if I did, they would look like this. Now, I'll be honest with you. This is a trick card. You know why? Why? Because there's nothing on the back, right? But if I snap, I can make the back appear. Not here, but down here. Now you have a back without a face, Evan, and a face without a back. It doesn't make sense. Tell you what, let's just start again. Here's what they look like before they leave the factory. Here's what they look like after they've been printed. But Evan, not just one card, but every card in the entire deck. <laughs> not just the faces, but also the backs. Now, if there's one thing I want you to remember from this whole thing, Evan, is that this is what cards look like before they leave the factory. So please, if anybody asks you how it's done, just tell them you have no idea. That's incredible. And I will say, when I was growing up, I used to love magicians and magic shows. And being yeah. able to do that with short sleeves is also That's incredibly right. impressive. You like there, There's nothing hiding your arms there. You're showing us just completely what's going on there. That's pretty cool. I appreciate you. Reinventing magic. That's what we do. No sleeves, no big boxes, just pure sleight of hand and entertainment. And uh, I'm just happy to share it with you. So like thanks it. for having me here. All of our anchors are, are wowed by what you just did. Uh, a quick reminder for viewers who are watching, maybe booking their tickets to Vegas. How do people find tickets for your show? Yeah, get them when you can. We sell out fast. We're at the ticketmaster.com or mattfranco.com. It's Matt with one T, M-A-T, like a doormat. Uh, walk all over me if you want to. It's totally up to you. Uh, we're at the Link Hotel and Experience, and we hope to see you there. All right, Matt, thank you so much for being with us this morning. That was really cool to see. Appreciate you. <laughs>